Okay, so you're in math class doing your geometry, doing your constructions, um, and now your teacher asks you to draw a line. Parallel. To line L through point P. And so you, you draw your line just for the fun of it. I'm going to make it slanty because slanty is fun. So you have your line L. And then you're given random point P again. It looks suspiciously close. I'm just Big gonna ignore P, that. Minimum. Big P. Okay. That looks big. Okay, so what you want to do first, using theorem, and uh, I forget what it was. I think it was like theorem five twelve or something. If a line is perpendicular to a line, it's perpendicular to another line. And those two lines parallel. So first, you draw your line that's perpendicular. Perpendicular to L three point. Do you P. want to use the other line? No, I don't. Let's just refresh us. How to do this? Da -da. And then you do your perpendicular bisector thingy. So I'm being very exact about it. Um. Very exact. And then your and then your point slips and then you just have to erase it. And you slide because you're just like why? And your point slips again and now you're like Use the light hand, you know the thing on the top? Use that to rotate. Okay. And now you have your line. Per perpendicular line. 3P. Um, the point. Uh, perpendicular line. And actually, you want, you want don't want to just draw it to point P. You want to extend it past point P. Hmm. Okay, that, that looks good. And now tilting it like this just to make things more convenient. Uh, for any any really any really compass setting. Just draw a circle. I'll actually just need to make a circle that intersects there and there. Then you draw the perpendicular bisector of that. Of the new segment that you just created. And then since you already have the midpoint, it's easy to to choose compass setting for that that is closer to half so you don't have to draw as much and stuff and so the lines you have to connect her a bit closer together and somehow that just got really messed up or not, not messed up it's just I have to redraw this arc ta-da and now you have you go through this, through there, and there. Ow. Careful not to poke yourself for that. And you have line Q. Let's call it line Q. That is parallel to line L. Yeah. And cut.